can leave them on. You can, you can leave them on. I feel like some babies have definitely been made to that song. <laughs> It's your girl Raven Jonis and I'm back again with another video. Um, today we're gonna do something music related. It's been a little bit since I've done something music related. I said I was gonna do um a series called Music Monday, but I realized Monday uploads do not work for me. So I'm going to try to post Tuesday and Friday. Hashtag this line, your honor. I'm going to try to post Tuesday and Friday. If I don't upload both of those days, I'm gonna get get an upload on one of two of those days so instead of music mondays this is going to be called tune talk tuesday tuesday tunes tune tuesday i don't know but um i want to talk about music one day of the week i like music i think i'm going to do that whole type of like music monday type thing once a month maybe once or twice a month because it's just too much for me to try to like find new music and then like give a good review in a week instead of doing you know like a music monday like that every single week um i'm interested in other aspects of music i actually collect vinyl and cds so that's really what this video is about if you can't tell by the title today i'm going to be doing an unboxing of some cds from deep discounts um i do have a vinyl cd collection if you guys want to see that just let me know i'd be more than happy to share that with you guys because none of my friends and none of my family cares that i do this they, they don't care about my collection i've been waiting to unbox this since like six o'clock yeah so um yeah i'm kind of excited because i low-key forgot what i bought i just know one for sure that's in here but i really don't remember what else okay so we're gonna go right in. First, the first one that is on top is Swimming by Mac Miller. I am not like a day one huge Mac Miller fan. I really like Mac Miller. I enjoy his music. So I was like, I need to cop this. Here's the front. We all know this cover, whether you're a like a super fan, diehard fan, or you just know of Mac Miller, you know this cover. Oh, this is dope. This is dope, I love this. It's like sushi on a keyboard. This is like the album insert things. This just has like all the the song names, you know, all the people who are on the song, you know, like producers. So it doesn't look like it came with lyrics and I'm kind of sad about that. So this is it. Nothing special, but I do like the color. I'm definitely gonna be listening to this soon. Definitely. Okay, so the next thing in this box is the internet ego death. Now, a little backstory about my history with the internet. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the front. We all know this cover, and if you don't, um, get with it, please. Thank you. My friend, she tried to introduce me to the internet 11th or 12th grade, and I just was not feeling it. That's the thing about me. I just I'm not gonna like an artist till I decide I wanna like an artist. Like, and it's not even on some rejecting the mainstream type stuff. It's just if I don't wanna listen to it, I'm not gonna want. I'm not gonna listen to it. But it's crazy that I just like really live for Sid. I live for Steve Lacey. I live for like the internet in general. Oh my gosh, this is dope. Like highlighter yellow. Oh, it's dope. And this is the front of the insert. What's behind the CD? Dope. I love buying CDs. I love buying vinyl. It's like a, a gift within a gift. You know? Fun fact, I actually seen uh the internet at Soul Bloom. I'm mad though because this doesn't have lyrics either. Um, sometimes on this is really cool because they have samples that they use, like credited samples that they use, which saves me the time from having to research it. The third CD that I have here is Thin by Sid. Need I say more? Definitely Small More is like my favorite. No complaints on um, album artwork so far. It looks like on the front. This what it looks like on the back. 
The CD is kind of basic, but it's cool. You can leave them all. You can, you can leave them all. I feel like some babies have definitely been made to that song. God damn it, Sid. There's no lyrics, but the... I'm, this this video is purely for aesthetics, honestly, because I, I can't can play music on here, sadly. If I ever get monetized, Sid Mac Miller estate is not about to be taking any of my queens. No, thank you. The last CD here is Paramore. All we know is falling. I feel like I'm very connected with my sister because of Paramore. She put me on. So we have like, that's like kind of like a memory type thing. But yeah, here's the front of the CD. Very 2005, as far as like the package, like the inside. This is what I'm talking about, Paramore. This is what I'm talking about. They put the fucking lyrics in here. It's not that hard. Yeah, honestly, this isn't anything special. The lyrics, the lyrics. Yeah, that's really the video, honestly. I'm really happy uh, with everything I bought. So yeah, this video is just purely for, you know, how I feel about the aesthetics and the albums. Like I said, I don't just buy things that I love, so you weren't gonna get like an overwhelming reaction. But I do I do really enjoy all these CDs, all these artists, and every piece of work that I bought. So, yeah, that's it for this video. So I have one more addition to this video. This, this is my package. Um, I kind of I know exactly what it is because it says it's from the Kehlani store. Actually, it says Kehlani. It kind of feels kind of personal, like Kehlani gifted this specifically for me. I stated earlier in this video the rule that I give it myself is that I'll only buy albums that I love. I'm not just gonna buy, you know, anything that I just like. I leave that for my CDs. Yeah, so I really love this album, so I had to cop it as soon as she put it out. Um, I actually, at first, she dropped just the black vinyl, but then like a few days later, she ended up dropping the colored ones, which I was really mad about, because why wouldn't you drop them at the same time? But, um, so I canceled that order and got this one. So, I'm gonna stop talking, because I'm, I'm excited, y'all. There's another piece of the booty cheeks. I see it. Y'all, the cheeks are flourishing here. Can we talk about how Kaylani was really just like double cheeked up, caked up on a Thursday afternoon and it's dope. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I forgot that I got the signed version. So I have the sign. So her autograph is on here. Oh my gosh, I was trying to see if it's printed, but no. This is this is this is this is, this is Sharpie. Kay touched this. Kaylani touched this. Her hand was her hand slid across this poster. I love this like cover. It's so simple. And then you know the back where it's like all hell broke loose in the background. Yeah, 2020 right there. Now obviously. You know, we have the track list on the back. It still has Can I featuring Tory Lanez. She put this into production before she yeeted him off the song. And, you know, just put her own verse on it. So yeah, it says right here, this is the limited edition Aqua. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that, but yeah. Yeah, the background of the sleeve is just, you know, the album cover in a different, in blue, like negative, I believe. And it just has, has all the thank yous, you know, all the, who was on the song, who wrote. Oh, Nisha. I think that's not one girl who like writes for fucking Beyonce. She's amazing. She's on everything, literally everything. I love this. I love reading all these because you can see who worked on the song. You can see what samples they used. You can see um, just every little bit of like credit. I love that. Now it's time to see the vinyl. It doesn't have lyrics though. And y'all know how I feel about lyrics. Come out, I can't. That's like the hardest thing is like getting vinyls out of sleeves. And I'm so clumsy. So this scares me, honestly. I can't even lie to you. But I'm not touching the grooves, which you don't want to do because getting oil or just like any dust, dirt, just mess messes with how it'll play. Here it is, the blue, all the songs, 
all the features, the lyrics. I really just loved it. Love this album. I don't, I, I don't even know how to like formulate the words to say what I want to say, but there's probably a meme for it. So I'll insert it. Wow, that was so powerful. <laughs> Academy Award. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't do anything else besides watch this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm and getting my video out there to other people. So I'm pretty sure if you made it this far into the video that you, you kind of enjoy me, right? Or like you're like doing something else and like I'm just in the background talking. That works too. I mean, you haven't turned me off. So go ahead and leave me a like and a uh, comment if you like. Tell me which one of these is your favorite or recommend me stuff. Please recommend me stuff in the comments. Yeah, this, this is one of the times where I'm not gonna be like an asshole and not listen to stuff. Like when people tell me to listen to artists and I don't listen to them and I end up liking them like four years later. So um, yeah, go ahead and leave me some recommendations of stuff to listen. And also don't forget to turn the post notifications on for my channel so that you are notified whenever I upload. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Man, it's like we pay so much attention to the struggling part that we don't, we don't pay attention to the blessings that we gain from the struggle, man. <laughs> I know my time's coming.